Emma, I wanted to start with you. Why food? Why is food such an important topic for us to explore here at the Emma Carr Foundation? Well, Seb, if we're gearing towards transforming the entire economy, it's impossible not to look at food because food is a massive sector and it's not going anywhere. Food is imperative in our lives. We rely on it to survive. And with a growing global population, it's actually a growing industry. And today, unfortunately, because of the linearity of our food system, it's contributing to our biggest global challenges that we're facing. So it's the primary driver of biodiversity loss, and it accounts for about a third of annual greenhouse gas emissions. But it doesn't need to be this way, and we can actually apply the principles of circular economy to reimagine the food system so that it's regenerative by design. So that's really why we're looking at food. Um, you know, as, uh, I think there's a famous saying um, that food is kind of the mother of all systems. And we talk about system change. You know, we've all got to eat, obviously. We're all engaging with food in everyday lives. There are many aspects of it from the way it's grown to the people involved to how it's sold um, to what happens after um, we've consumed it or not consumed it. How, you know, you've been at the foundation for several years now. This is, um, you know, the, our food initiative has been alive for a while. What is the, what's been the kind of journey for Ellen McCarth Foundation and for you in terms of trying to get our heads around what role the circle has to play in redesigning our food system? So yeah, you were just highlighting how food truly is entangled in everything. It's super complex. It touches all of the sustainable development goals. And it was when I joined the foundation in 2018 that I joined the initial team that started to investigate what would actually mean to apply circular economy principles to our food system. And therefore, what sort of system solutions can we bring to the table? And does the Ellen McGarth Foundation be a part of the transformation that's needed? So what we have seen all along is there is a big opportunity to apply the principles of circular economy, to go from a mindset and approach of trying to undo the damage of today's linear food system to actually redesigning it to be something completely different, something much, much better, where we can actually be driving absolute positive benefits for people, for business, and for nature now and long term. So we were first investigating, and we had this hypothesis that cities as centers of consumption, where about 80% of the world's food is expected to be eaten in 2050, have a big role to play. And the findings of our research during that initial year were published in our first report, our first deep dive on food, which is called Cities and the Circular Economy. And that was published in January of 2019 and really gave way to the launch of what we now call the Food Initiative in June of 2019. So we've been working with London, Sao Paulo, New York to support demonstration of circular economy for food in those cities and they are strategic partners of the foundation. And that journey continues with them. And then about a year ago, we started to sense that there was um, a big opportunity that we could start to tap into looking more at the industry side and looking at something that we call food design. I know we'll have a chance to unpack today, but really thinking about food manufacturers and retailers in particular. Like cities, they have huge demand power because they source a lot of food, therefore influence a lot of land, and create so many of the food offerings that we eat every day around the world. So is there something that we could develop as the foundation in terms of an approach for how these sort of businesses can rethink their food so that it has the best positive outcomes for biodiversity, for climate, for farmers, for people, and ultimately for their business. 